Submillimeter astronomy or submillimeter astronomy see spelling differences is the branch of observational astronomy that is conducted at submillimeter wavelengths i.e., terahertz radiation of the electromagnetic spectrum. Astronomers place the submillimeter waveband between the far infrared and microwave wavebands, typically taken to be between a few hundred micrometers and a millimeter. It is still common in submillimeter astronomy to quote wavelengths in microns, the old name for micrometer. Using submillimeter observations, astronomers examine molecular clouds and dark cloud cores with a goal of clarifying the process of star formation from earliest collapse to stellar birth. Submillimeter observations of these dark clouds can be used to determine chemical abundances and cooling mechanisms for the molecules which comprise them. In addition, submillimeter observations give information on the mechanisms for the formation and evolution of galaxies. Submillimeter astronomy from the ground The most significant limitation to the detection of astronomical emission at submillimeter wavelengths with ground-based observatories is atmospheric emission, noise and attenuation. Like the infrared, the submillimeter atmosphere is dominated by numerous water vapor absorption bands and it is only through «windows» between these bands that observations are possible. The ideal submillimeter observing site is dry, cool, has stable weather conditions and is away from urban population centers. There are only a handful of such sites identified, they include Mauna Kea Hawaii, United States, the Llano de Chajnantor Observatory on the Atacama Plateau Chile, the South Pole, and Hanel in India the Himalayan site of the Indian Astronomical Observatory. Comparisons show that all four sites are excellent for submillimeter astronomy, and of these sites Mauna Kea is the most established and arguably the most accessible. There has been some recent interest in high-altitude Arctic sites, particularly Summit Station in Greenland where the PWV precipitable water vapor measure is always better than at Mauna Kea however Mauna Kea's equatorial latitude of 19 degrees means it can observe more of the southern skies than Greenland. The Llano de Chajnantor Observatory site hosts the Atacama Pathfinder Experiment Apex, the largest submillimeter telescope operating in the southern hemisphere and the world's largest ground-based astronomy project, the Atacama Large Millimeter Array ALMA, an interferometer for submillimeter wavelength observations made of 54 12-meter and 12 7-meter radio telescopes. The Submillimeter Array SMA is another interferometer, located at Mauna Kea, consisting of eight 6-meter diameter radio telescopes. The largest existing submillimeter telescope, the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope, is also located on Mauna Kea. Submillimeter astronomy from near space With high-altitude balloons and aircraft, one can get above even more of the atmosphere. The BLAST experiment and SOFIA are two examples, respectively, although SOFIA can also handle near-infrared observations. Submillimeter astronomy from space Space-based observations at the submillimeter wavelengths remove the ground-based limitations of atmospheric absorption. The Submillimeter Wave Astronomy Satellite was launched into low Earth orbit on December 5, 1998 as one of NASA's Small Explorer Program missions. The mission of the spacecraft is to make targeted observations of giant molecular clouds and dark cloud cores. The focus of SWAS is five spectral lines, water H2O, isotopic water H2180, isotopic carbon monoxide molecular oxygen O2, and neutral carbon Ci. The SWAS satellite was repurposed in June, 2005 to provide support for the NASA Deep Impact mission. SWAS provided water production data on the comet until the end of August 2005. The European Space Agency launched a space-based mission known as the Herschel Space Observatory formerly called Far Infrared and Sub-Millimeter Telescope or FIRST in 2009. Herschel deploys the largest mirror ever launched into space and studies radiation in the far infrared and submillimeter wavebands. Rather than an Earth orbit, Herschel entered into a Lissajous orbit around L2, the second Lagrangian point of the Earth–Sun system. 
L2 is located approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth and the placement of Herschel there lessens the interference by infrared and visible radiation from the Earth and Sun. Herschel's mission focuses primarily on the origins of galaxies and galactic formation. Topic: See also Terahertz radiation Far infrared astronomy Scuba 2 All Sky Survey Radio window Infrared window Optical window Category – Submillimeter telescopes <laughs>